It should, it should be to the point where you can't hear the metronome because your hands are so much in sync with uh, you know, the click. Um, any questions? <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, probably the Partridge family. <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, that was one of my big inspirations. I saw them playing. I saw them playing their instruments, and I wanted to play a guitar. No, I actually, I figured. I don't know. There was just something inside of me that. It was a test of discipline, you know. It was kind of like a. Um, I was trying to learn something about myself at the time, and uh, growing up, I mean, I had a, you know a normal childhood and whatnot, but I just felt compelled. So there's basically three types, three types of musicians. I think the first type is the, the person that uh, can play and like you know really enjoys playing the instrument and has a great time, you know, just playing you know well out their way to heaven on the beach with your friends or something, you know, and um, the type of musician that goes to school and learns how to play his instrument and studies very hard, probably, you know, maybe three, four hours a day, and really makes his life out of playing, playing his instrument, and uh, goes out and gets a gig that's doing your work, and maybe even lands a really nice gig, and, you know, pretty much able to support themselves with their music. That's another type. And then there's your maniac, you know, the type of person that uh, is just totally obsessed with uh, just practicing all hours of the day, and uh, it's like a single you know, one-minded thing, and uh, some of us, you know, I'm sure everybody can feel, know what I'm talking about to a degree, everybody felt that, uh, kind of, you know, compelling nature to just do something that might not be considered normal, <laughs> but uh, practicing 15 hours a day, you know, of, of, of hard concentration, I think I learned a lot from it, but also there's other things that I've learned as I've grown older, and uh, to, to help yourself as a player, you know, help myself as a player that really don't have anything to do with music, and I, I can discuss them later. Any other questions? I think we'll play another song. Yeah? yeah? Um, I, I can't see anything. Joe Satriani was the biggest influence on my playing more than anybody else. He, uh, Joe Satriani was my first guitar teacher. I went to school in uh, New York and Long Island, and I went to, um, uh, I brought a, a, a guitar off my friend for five dollars, and I went to Joe Satriani's house, which is a guy, a local guy in the town, and I went to him with strings and the guitar, and I said, Ugh, you know, and he, he taught me for three years, and the, I can't stress the importance of having a good teacher, you know, um, he taught me a lot, he taught me a lot about theory, he taught me a lot about playing and sync, and he taught me a lot about a lot of other things, and uh, a lot of my style is a reflection of, you know, it's kind of, you can see a lot of him in my playing or whatever, but he was one of my biggest influences. He's up in San Francisco now, if you ever get a chance to go see him, his name is Joe Satriani, he's a great guitar player. Any other questions? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, when I was going to high school, I wasn't practicing 15 hours a day. <laughs> When I say 15 hours a day, it was, you know, during the summer months where you wake up and you just play your guitar all day, you know, it's not like everybody runs around, I guess, at a time and plays 15 hours a day, you know. For the most part, when I was going to school, I guess it was something anywhere between 8 and 9 hours a day. Any questions? Yeah. What kind of stuff was Joe showing you? What, what exercises? What stuff? Oh, uh, real simple, because I was such an uncoordinated little, you know, <laughs> So, but he was just showing me simple chromatic exercises with picking. He showed me scales, you know, major, all the modes, which I feel are real important. I've had a lot of students, I've taught at one point, I had about 50 students, and uh, a lot of people seem to know the modes, but they don't know the modes, you know what I'm saying? They know how, you know how to play the modes, you know, along the fingerboard. Well, that's one thing, but really being able to, uh, you know, study them and get the tonality from them and, you know, soloing with them is another thing. It's really useful. And he showed me what that was, and, you know, how to do that. And uh, he's just a cool guy, you know, so. Oh, Joe. You know? <laughs> okay. We haven't practiced a lot. We haven't, we haven't practiced a lot, so you're going to be allowed to sing, but you don't care, right?